do I do? I don't know. Ew. <laughs> I, I, have, I hate having nothing to do except like hang out with my friends and work. I forgot I have a job. Never mind. <laughs> Holy L. But anyway, back into our final game. Yeah. Not final game, but into our next game. We have Fawn versus BB, the duck fight of all, the, the duck fight. The, the duck dog fight, fight of, all, of all time. And you know what? Duck fight. Duck is there. Chilling. Avoiding two dogs. I'm feeling full of beans. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got number jump scared, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he arrives when you least expect it. Uh, I'm missing the third clay pigeon. That's kind of huge. Are you telling me you're not feeling full of beans? I'm very, uh, am I British today? I am very, I feeling very beany. I bet that can is full of beans. What kind, like the red beans? I agree. Like, like British beans or like Goya Spanish beans? Whatever your heart desires. You're so real for that. <laughs> it can be whatever you want, viewer. Schrodinger's beans. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> hey, goodbye, Hopper. Hey, good luck. All right, back to our match. As you talk about beans, we are seeing a nut. Vivi living for a very, very long time as well. Wanting to keep this rage build up as, uh, for as long as possible until so eventually it will, in fact, go away. But what can we see here? We can see a clash with that frame one can interrupting what Vivi's really trying to go for, which is that dash attack, which is that, uh, that aura sphere as well. All these things that Vivi wants to do, can and play with you just interrupt it all the time. And right now, all of the like stage hazards that Duck Hunt can put out, really throwing a wrench into Vivi's game plan of trying to use this Aura Sphere to confirm the kill, and instead Fawn is going to be able to find first blood. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like, you know, the good mana half of drawing it out, first blood goes definitely to Fawn, but now we have a really good situation where Fawn has to kind of... Uh, hello? ...not die. That's so, I can explain this. Go ahead. <laughs> Please. <laughs> The can exploded on VV's shield, uh -huh. and the explosion, uh. it hit the bottom of VV's shield, so the explosion had a little room to reach down and hit Fawn. Yeah. Me personally. <laughs> if, if Duck Hunt tries to, uh, this is actually a good tip for anyone, if Duck Hunt's trying to like cover the recovery with can, and they get the like can really close to the ledge, consider tilting your shield down to make the can explode earlier and maybe hit Duck Hunt. Ah. It's not guaranteed, but it might happen. Is that what you do? Yes, I always tilt my shield down when Fawn's doing that. Interesting! And I noticed. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Numbers. I do a lot of little things. You do a lot of little things. You do a lot of things. It, it is the, the little things in life that we come to appreciate. And Smash. A lot of little things in Smash that we, we do not appreciate, actually. I don't know why I'm talking anything about this game. I appreciate the nuances. A little bit. Like that, for example, shield tilting, shield tilting the, the can. All right. All right. Right now, we're kind of seeing the double-edged sword of, um, like, Fawn's sort of set play game plan is, you know, you have all this, like, poke gameplay of throwing out the cans and setting down all these stage hazards. You're giving VV so much aura. But at the same time, these stage hazards are all also meat shields. So if VV's not able to, like, really get in, then... This aura is for nothing. It hit the gun man. This aura is for nothing. It hit the gun man. Everything that V was booting up right then and there, like you're saying, all these obstacles are not letting them even play the game the way that Lucara wants to play. Somehow living that last hit up there is going to be huge. All right, finally, oh. though. Catching Fawn holding in a little bit too much. And VV to get back. Ooh, that being said, though, the Clay Pigeon confirm, making sure Vivi's not able to run away and get any sort of extra credit on the board. Yeah, absolutely not. There's an up there, another one for your troubles. Oh, falling out of it very early, letting, letting Vivi live a little bit longer and get some extra uh, charge over at it as well. Now, what can we see here? We see Fawn really getting really aggressive, getting really pokey as well with that back air. Um, and, these, and these Clay Pigeons, too. But I don't think it's really working out as Vivi's starting to get around these maneuvers, we're getting around this movement that uh, that Fawn is throwing out right now. Yep. Fawn just sticking right on that can. I love. I always love seeing the can placement from Fawn and the way that they play around it. 
All right, missing the forward smash. That gives you a, a great amount of reason to build off of. Back here, not going to be doing. Oh, back here, not going to be doing anything of the sort. That game reverse was huge. so good. Not only avoiding Fawn, but also avoiding the can on the top platform as well. Giving Vivi the chance that they need to find some space for themselves. And right there, Fawn with no resources on the board. The can behind her and no gunman to speak of. Vivi finally able to find that Aura Sphere. Excellent stuff from Vivi in order to bring it back. I saw the Aura Sphere charging up and I was like, they're going to throw it out. I can't wait. It's going to hit something. It's going to hit a gunman. It's going to hit a can. It's gonna hit Instead, it hit Fawn. Oh, here's the interaction we saw earlier. Um... That was just, it was funny because I think just how I was saying something like, oh, this is a really good position for Vivi, it was a little too good, I, yeah. I think. <laughs> Alright, both players sticking with their characters. Let's see what the uh, Fawn counter pick is going to be. Running things right back into small battlefield, I absolutely agree with this. Definitely one of Fawn's better stages, as we were talking about before. Utilizing all of these resources to set up this like lane-based pressure. Definitely one of the best stages in the game. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, John Numbers. Oh, we know. Small battlefield propaganda. That's completely fine. I, I agree. I like this stage a lot, especially because it, I feel like it is one of the most neutral stages out there because PS2 is very much, it's very similar in, in setup, but it's longer. It gives zoners a little bit more uh, free space, and it also gives VB a uh, not enough room to recover with. And only with only 40%, that's basically a, a, a no stock situation. You are you came into the game with two socks. I, I was so blinded by my PS2 hate, I didn't even see what happened. Uh, me neither. I was very much <laughs> venting about <laughs> PS2 propaganda and how I don't like it. But oh, I missed it too, actually. <laughs> wow. I didn't save the replay. Six oh, no. of our eyes. We'll never know. We're so bad at this game. <laughs> Six eyes and we all missed what happened. But well, hopefully Vivi wins so we don't have to focus. We have, we have the, so the, we're not the missing replays. one. I'm focusing on the fawn replays. <laughs> Oopsie. Anyway. Stinky. Back. Stinky. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's my streamer. <laughs> Two becomes and one producer. We all missed it. But <laughs> that's quite a miracle in of itself. But regardless, Spawn having a great lead right now from that SC from Vivi, having to just kind of play the game that she has to, right? And just kind of in her it's in her ballpark. Wow, it's funny. It's in her it's in her dog park. Sorry. I'll I'll leave. Perish. Oh, waiting out the uh, double team and Vivi thrown out yet another one, really looking for for something to try and find their way back into this game. But I mean, when you have a lead like that, when you're handed a lead like that, you really can start to get away with the more set play poke style of gameplay. With murder. Yeah. You well, get away that with too. murder. BB has a mount I have to climb because we already said Lucaro's best time is when he is in an, an advantage, when Lucaro is able to have that stock lead, have that aura lead as well. But when you're pretty much fighting from the bottom of the mountain versus Fawn at a whole new stock, you know, 0%, and you only have 69, nice, perfect uh, percent on you, it makes it that much harder, correct? So yeah. what we have to see is that aura sphere, that maneuvering around all these of obstacles, which they have been doing the relatively well, but now it's even just that much harder. Yeah, and like even though you, Vivi is starting to get all of this, you know, percent on the board, Fawn still has two stocks to work with, and you can only cheat death so many times. But Vivi is going to be the one cheating right now. No, nah, that, that was just that hey, was look, fine. Look, guys, it's even. It's even. It's even. Don't get it twisted for two seconds. It's even. We're taking that trade in favor of Fawn and get Vivi all the way out there. But Extreme Speed should be able to come. You bring it right back. Oh, to miss. No way. No way. SD for SD. There's no way. That was the most winner semis of all time. Now, I need to see that. Thank you. I need to see that expeditiously. Look at this. We'll get there. Eventually. Yeah, we'll get that. We missed that uh, first dog. <laughs> uh, that was the first dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, I did actually miss the Ooh. second stock, though. Second stock. It's okay. Thankfully, VV won because... <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Wins. Oh, no, not here it is. I'm sorry. Oh my god. That was, really good. That was a good chase. Yeah. Alright, look at this. This was so unfortunate. They... At 19.3%. Oh man. Gets bonked by the extreme speed. Missed attack. I think she's, she definitely had a jump still. But I think she immediately went for the up B. Yeah. Thinking that she was a little bit closer to the ledge and could air dodge. Because she does save herself a lot when mm. they do do the, the up B to air dodge. But no. not 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 to, This is very much a winner semis. Very winner semi. Yeah, that is our last winner semi's game of.